Hey guys, hashtag program fucking lover, and today I'm going to show you how to clean a fish bowl or fish tank. So what you need is something to get your fish out of the bowl and some sort of cup to keep it in. You also need the cleaning supplies. I just have this aqua safe. Let's get started anyway. So you're going to go ahead and take your cup. Just take some water out if you can't reach the entire cup in. And then you just pour it in. I recommend about eh, three, three cupfuls. Then you're gonna take your net and gently take your bait, bait of fish. In this case, I have my fish opal. She desperately needs her clean tank. Tank clean, gosh. Okay, gently, she's an escape artist, so gently reach out. Okay, she's in the net. Keep her in the water for a second. And when you're ready, you go quick, dip her in, and she'll swim out herself. Or you could just back the net off if she's too dumb to realize that she's free. In this case, this opal pretty much is that dumb. So, then you're gonna take everything to the bathroom. Okay, we're in the bathroom now, and I brought the fish bowl with me, and all the cleaning supplies, including the aqua safe, Tetra aqua safe stuff, came with my beta fish tank. And then you'll also need a warm rag, a dry, a dry towel, a rag, in this case I'm using a rag. So you can put all the accessories on once they're um, clean, so they're just out of the way. And then your fish, just so she can kind of see the process, I guess. Like, but yeah, like old bowl. Classic old bowl, but what you're gonna do, you're just gonna take out all the stuff you have last. Take out the stuff in the tank. Make sure you get most of the water out of the accessories if you can. And then you're just gonna set it on the top, you rag your towel to dry. Take everything out, set it on there. And then you're going to plug the sink and dump everything, the pebble, everything. So now, once you have them sit in there for a little bit, you're going to get all the fish stuff out with, it, with all that just poop flowing around. This is a dirty process, but you're going to move all the pebbles away from the drain so none of them go down the drain if you want them to, because that would take a lot to get them out. You're, you're going to unplug the drain so everything flows down, except for, for the pebbles. So leave it and let it drain. So now you have everything uh, out of the sink, like uh, all the water in the gum, and you have pebbles left. So now you're going to turn on some mildly hot water. Yeah, that's quite perfect, but a little less cold. And that, and start moving the pebbles around just to get every little piece of gunk off. And if you want, you can add some soap to this, but just only like one squirt because it's too much would hurt your fish. So just one squirt and continue churning. So after you've turned the pebbles, you're going to separate these little decor things, um, if you have them, or any sort of things that go on top of the pebbles. So separate those out because you're going to put them on top of the pebbles after that. So after you've separated everything out, wet your rag I told you to get with hot water. You don't have to burn yourself though because it's awesome, it's very hot. Bring it out and then wipe inside of the bowl. Just like that. Wipe out your bowl with hot water. Get every little space and nook and cranny to think of of your bowl and tank, especially the bottom because that's where the fish poop comes. So if you have a decoration that goes below the pebbles or you want to hide below the pebbles, make sure you wash it first before you um, before you put the pebbles in. So you want to go in and then fill it up with pebbles. So once you have that washed, you can set it in the bottom of your tank wherever you want. I like mine right here, so I can have room for the other, other little hide area for the opal. And now you're just going to fill it up with pebbles. So now you're going to put your pebbles in, just like this. Try not to, try not to get them caught all over the inside of the plant, like on the top of the plant, because, like that. Because those not look very good. It looks like the ground kind of like got caught inside the plant. I don't know, but I like to put mine above the rocks on the plant, not in the plant itself. So just do that, fill, the, fill your bowl up or tank up with pebbles, smooth it out every once in a while, just like this. So once you've had all the pebbles, smooth it out to your desire, around the thing that you have at the bottom, or if not, you can skip that step and just smooth out the pebbles on the bottom. You take your decorative rocks, if you have any of these, and you lay them out on the bottom wherever. So I like to put 
find any spots in there. Just to show them off. Uh, just keep in mind if you have other decorations, leave a spot where you don't put pebbles. For example, I'm leaving this big gap right there to where I'm going to put this in. Or you could stick this in after you wash it and then put it in and put the pebbles around it. Anyway, I just put mine randomly and yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. If you have another accessory like this rainbow doohickey thing that they like to hide in, you, you put it in the tank now, so you go like this. put it around your pebbles in that gap that you left. So then your fish can swim in it without having a problem of going around. Like you don't want to put a hole against the wall like that because they're going to swim in it. So you have to put it spaced out as much as possible and find the holes that your fish like to swim through and put those very visible so they can see them. comes the kind of hardest part so you gotta fill your fish's water in here and try to recreate the temperature as much as possible in your bowl. So it's mildly cold but mildly hot. You've got to get that temperature as much as you can to make it perfect. So now you can fill your bowl up with that water. Fill it up to your desire, your desired height. Let it fill up. And you can see the water is pretty murky still, but once you put this stuff in, it's really cool to watch the magic. It like cleans it like right before your eyes. It's really nice. Just turn off the water. Look at that. And keep in mind, you also have to put the cup in there. So now you're going to take your Tetra Safe. And on the back for mine, it says shake well and add one teaspoon for every 10 gallons of water. So I only have one gallon tank, so I need like a couple drops. Just shake it real fast. And then I'll just put a couple drops in there. Like so you gotta kind of squeeze it until a drop comes up. Just come on. Just like that. And then put one, two, let's go three drops. And then if you watch down here, it's already kind of working. It's really cool and interesting to watch. See how clear it is down here already? And then it works its way up. It's really neat. And then after that, you can put your fish in. And you should be good to go. So Opal is ready to go back to her home, her clean home. So you're just gonna take it and gently dump her in if you can. She, she might not let me dump her in. There you go. Just like that, and then fill it up to the top, which is a, so they're chasing a reflection like normal, which is pretty weird, I think, but it works. And she's back in her, her bowl, and yeah, she'll hopefully like it. Come on, girl, go explore. Go explore, yeah, there you go. See, she realizes she's back in her home. Well, that's about it for this video, and I hope you got some good tips and tricks on how to clean your fishbowl. Opal looks a lot happier in her environment now. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them. And thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.